Hello, my friend. Welcome to the Glofus. You know, I just personally finished reading the, the books of 1 Kings, 2 Kings, 1 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles. I've read through those four books just recently. Uh, for illustration, uh, the last book that I just mentioned, the book of 2 Chronicles, gives us the, the history or the record of the 20 kings of Judah. Uh, 20 kings, one queen. It's interesting reading about them because it gives us kind of just short histories, almost like eulogies of their life. Uh, but you read and you discover, you know, some of the kings were good and some of them were bad. Uh, some of them began bad, but ended good. Some of them began good, but ended bad. Uh, some of them were devoted to the Lord and some of them were devoted to themselves. Uh, some were devoted to the Lord and some were devoted to evil. Uh, and then some were like kind of devoted to the Lord, but not really, not with a whole heart. You know, you read through those eulogies and, and you read through all sorts of fascinating history and it's it's good and it's, you know, invigorating to, to read through that history. But it causes you to evaluate your own life. And of course, the New Testament tells us that the Old Testament was written for our instruction and for our admonition and for our encouragement and for our instruction. And, and you learn from these people. If a eulogy was to be written of my life today, if someone was to sit down and kind of write through the, uh, the short history of my life, what would be said of me? What would be said of you? Would it be said of us? Would it be said of you and me that our hearts were wholly devoted to the Lord or kind of devoted to the Lord? And what would that mean? And what would that look like? What would that look like for me? What would that look like for you? I, I tell you what, you read through that Old Testament history of the kings, both First Kings, Second Kings, First Chronicles, Second Chronicles, and, and you learn some lessons real quickly. It is, it is good to be wholly devoted to the Lord because of who he is, because of what he has done, because of what he promises to do, because of what, for us today, what he is for us in Jesus Christ, what he promises to be for us in Jesus Christ. To be wholly devoted to the Lord is, um, is good for us in the immediate, and it's good for us forever. Uh, I want to encourage you, boy, if you haven't read through your old history lately, uh, go back into some of that Old Testament history and read through the Chronicles of the Kings. And uh, be instructed, be encouraged, be fascinated by, uh, by the history. But uh, I'm sure uh, you'll be built up in the faith if you do that. Uh, I've personally been challenged, and it's been, it's been valuable for me. And I'm glad to pass the encouragement on to you. You know, it's Friday, and I hope you have a good Friday. Sunday's coming. We're looking forward to this Sunday. It's the first time for us to resume on-site ministry after a quarter of being off, and so we're looking forward to that. Some will be able to join uh, join in church on Sunday, and we're looking forward to being together. Some will still join us online, and that's fantastic. We'll look forward to uh, pressing in in our study in the book of Ruth and uh, learning together and growing up in Christ together. But you have a good Friday, and Lord willing, we'll see you Sunday morning. God bless you. Have a good day.